Today's adventure brings us to the deserts of Southern California, taking the 111 South through some desolate regions known as Grapefruit Boulevard. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Tagging along is my friend Nikki. Hi. Have you ever been to this area before? Uh, nope. When was the last time you were out here? It's been three or four years. A lot probably has changed, but a lot is probably similar and stayed the same. We're just gonna see what there is to see on the side of the thoroughfare as well as at the end. Sound good? I'm super excited. Let's do this! I noticed behind you there is a bow on the ground. Huh. I'm inviting you to join me. And, and me. Shall you? We shall. Starting off here at the North Shore Community Center and Coffee Club. The sign says gifts, but it's written over some other wording, which is hard to make out. And there is a pamphlet in the window that states 2010, most likely when this establishment closed. Music, barbecue, and fun. Look at the date stamp. Do you see what printer printed this out? No, I just see a, I just see a flyer. Well, no, it's like one oh, of those. Oh, what you? <laughs> no, e e e. One of those. That's the the technical term, or? Oh no, it's an e e e printer. So it's old school. E -E -E, yeah, I'll look it up. But yeah, you remember those are like white, and they took up the entire desk. I'm, try, I, I'm drawing line them. by line. Dot matrix. That's what that is. Dot matrix printer. Yes. You see, you see the dots? Is it part of the matrix? <laughs> it might look beautiful, but upon closer inspection, this is a very prickly piece of foliage. Oh my goodness, look at those. Oh, it just got me. I'm trying to pull away. And this right here touched my thumb. Look what it's done to the ceiling with the wind. Oh yeah, oh wow. It's a dangerous plant. No joke, that could cause some serious damage to your skin. Example up there, the wood has been peeled back, carved away by these little prickly thorns. This states, let's do the Banasty, which kind of makes sense because right over there is the International Banana Museum, just past the dumpster. I don't think it's open today. In fact, I'm kind of wondering if it's even operational at all anymore. I do like that SoCo liquor and sporting goods and bait signage retro in the distance there. That's a relic. These ants have created a home here burrowed into the ground. You can see hundreds of them just doing their thing. Down in there, down in that hole. Taking food to and fro. Setting up a homestead. A little bit of everything listed on this one. I'm guessing probably 70s, mid, late 70s, this was planted here. It's just a rough estimate guess if I had to, if I had to give one. It's all locked up and chain linked off. But these are the facilities to the right. That fella's got a sweet stash and the other guy's taking care of business. Reading the paper. Adjacent to the attraction is Skip's, which looks like a little convenience store. At one point, it was a gas station. You can see here in the foreground, the concrete is where the pumps used to be at one point. I can safely say I've never seen a dog banana before, but now I have in painted form on the side of that wall. Dog banana. This little monkey says closed. One thing this location is noted for is not allowing filming. It's a dollar to get in, but no video or panoramic pictures. They are prohibited inside. The mascot for Skips appears to be a drunk turtle. We're here on the wrong day of the week. It is not open today, but I am admiring the facade itself. They don't make, they don't make structures like this too much anymore. 
Check out the design of that. Very unique looking to say the least. See how it kind of just protrudes outward? You can see it better from this particular angle. Way off in the distance, underneath the gas sign, written on that awning says open 24 hours. That, in this day and age, is not applicable. Felix Auto Repair is what it once was. I know you're a fan of textures. What do you think of the texture of this, of this behind us? Perfectly delicious. What is it about textured items that you like so much? I can taste them. You don't, want to, you don't want to taste that. That would be disgusting. But I don't have to taste it. I can just, I can see it and I can taste oh, it. Oh, you can visually taste it. Yes. It's delicious. I'm just kidding. Don't touch, just, t just look. Just look. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty good saying. Show the love all because it's abandoned doesn't mean it's forgotten. See how heavy it is. pretty solid like iron solid yeah it's like how heavy weight wise you think it is a quarter pound maybe even half a pound oh look an ant has chosen it nice it's a good place to reside it's more or less petrified wood protruding rocks. It's very decorative. And a remnant of the past where a payphone used to stand. Moving on. There are lots for sale, but written over it, there was a motel, old motel signage underneath us. Got to look very, have to have an eagle eye to see it, but it says motel. Making way to Bombay Beach, population 295 and elevation of 223. And by turning off here and driving down this road for about a quarter mile, we'll end up at the Salton Sea. The Ski Inn, the lowest bar in the Western Hemisphere. Now serving cocktails. This cactus has like a purplish hue to it, a purplish green hue. There's a cluster there and then there's a singular one over here that's also purple hueish. The last resort stop for Bombay Beach. The second part is difficult to read the inscription. See it faintly there. The letters have been removed, but it's up there. Some sort of art installation here that's moving and shifting. You can see that see that sphere kind of circulating around. That's different. This is the back side of the cylinder where that art was located. In the distance there's a train going by with a lot of military vehicles. Some tanks. Trucks. Wow. 
and then down here some bones do you see the foot back in there with some painted toenails there's a foot Behind that gate. Is it like spongy? Like no, it's hard. It's weird. Yeah, it is. Almost looks spongy, but it's not. You might think it's an ordinary fish, but it's an airliner, it's an airplane with the tail fin of a fish. And there's someone perched up there on the roof above the carport in a chair. Hello up there. And here's a dinosaur. That's different. Looks pretty cool with the sunburst coming through the, whatever that top portion is. What are you doing in the middle of the, oh, you're not in the middle of the road anymore. So now I could just say, why did the seagull cross the road? Wait, now you're going back into the middle of the road. What are you doing in the middle of the road, seagull? All right, I guess that's where you feel comfortable. The Bombay Bathroom Club. There's a bathroom right up there on the side of that trailer. Tucked away in these shrubs is a house, a residence. Look in the window there. Do you think someone lives here or is this another art installation? I really can't tell anymore. It's pretty, pretty wild. It's ridiculous. In the desert of all places. Out in the desert. And there's ducks behind us? Yeah. Squawking? Like, this is an enchanted forest in a desert nice. by a dead sea. Mr. Cow perched atop that roof. Hello, Mr. Cow. Some bicycle wheels way over there up top. Some Devo caps and a metal tree. There's a lot going on here on this property. I'm making my way closer to the water now. There's a dragon coming out of the sand right there. Wow, look at this pirate ship. You can kind of sort of make it out of the wreckage. You're more daring than I. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah.
Does it feel pretty stable? Um. Oh, 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 I heard it. No, I heard it creaking. No, I'm scared. I'm so scared. How do we get down? You need help getting down? Okay, you got, you got it? Uh, you got it? I think so. Oh, careful. Come up. I'm not really helping. You go down the way you come up, my friend. That's a swing set out in the water, about waist deep. Pretty sure this door leads to nowhere. Oh, the wind's blowing it. The wind's blowing the door to nowhere. And then on this mattress, this bed is a burnt mannequin torso charred remains beware of biohazard that's not caution radiation area oh goodness should have read that prior hitchcock would be proud The heck? Continuing on, stopping off at the United Food Center for some beverages. It's a little dry and getting dehydrated out here. Even though this Pepsi sign looks retro, it is rather new, but check out the orange crush in the distance. That's been there a few years. Nine two two five seven. That's the zip code. There is a small roadside motel here. What I find interesting is the size of this former phone booth. I don't think I've ever seen seen one like that before. Retro fire engines from a simpler time. Check out that caterpillar. As well as tractor trailer for the Ideal Melon Company. Dairy products, I'm making that out correctly. Straight down this direction, a few more miles, is the Mountain of Salvation. Also adjacent to Slab City. Made it. Looks as if they're giving it a fresh paint job. Not allowed to meander up the side. Normally you can walk up to the peak, but they're taking care of business. In fact, even this area also is not accessible. Closed due to rain, keep out. You can even see where it's washed away there. 
the way it's created is the paint is overlaid on top of hay bales right in the middle of the screen. You can see it kind of protruding through. It's where it's been washed away. Here is a miniature version, kind of like a scale model of the entire premises. So what you're looking at is a tiny, teeny percentage of it, and that's the real deal. Huge. An enormous amount of empty paint cans over there surrounding the God is Love box on the ground. The display of the boat has also been kind of stanchioned off with tubs and pieces of wood, making a little barricade there. In all honesty, we're getting a little behind the scenes look at how how it's kind of all formulated. He's up there on the ladder and he's just kind of throwing the pack in the mud to get it all tight so he can put the paint over it. Takes a lot of upkeep. The original creator passed away, but he has a plaque here that was dedicated back in 2016. Leonard Knight was his name. We have him to thank for this. People come from all around. You can see the light traffic passing by. It's very, very peaceful. Very quiet, except, except for the dogs barking, obviously. This piece of equipment is loaded with Bible verses. It has all the different passages. It's Acts 2.38. Matthew 3.11. Notice the trailer hitch here. Well, the hitch that connects to the truck, I should say. And then on the bumper, John 316. But the grill repeatedly has the word Bible over and over and over. That is one sweet ride. Look at the antlers. <laughs> Mounted there above the windshield. Riding in style. Slap City. As designated the last free place. says right there. Basically you just bring your RV or living accommodations out here and plant a seed. There are some military helicopters flying over. What am I witnessing right now? It looks like um, lots of shoes and tinsel hanging from the trees and then down the grounds a lot of discarded shoes and it's like pants and undergarments. I don't know, it's just a bunch of clothes.
written on those boards states, if you think you're free, you'll never escape. Community Bulletin Board. Has all the information and activities that are taking place in the community. There's a lot more going on than you would think. Including a library, a skate park, an oasis. Church of Enlightenment. Jesus is not underlined Slab City. Do not climb. Do not climb on the plane. And surprisingly, oh hello there. UPS makes deliveries all the way out here. Please honk. Is that a spider station wagon? Is that a, it's like almost like a monster oh, car. A dragon. It's a dragon alien spider thing. Oh, it is kind of like a dragon. It has a dragon kind of scales on it. All those chairs or seats are set up there on the right so that you can watch all those television, television sets there on the left, a whole wall of them. This tower has been constructed. It's about three stories tall. I give or take, just a guesstimate. But inside are a bunch of goose goose noggins <laughs> hiding amongst the trees. Hi. Oh, I see what happened to. I know where the necks are, but down below this robot's body, there's their bodies. <laughs> Some sort of elephant creature on the left there, and this car is kind of kind of jacked up just a little bit with some something permeating out of the top of the roof. Has a weapon for his right hand. His arm kind of converts into a, a weapon of some sort. In my opinion, this looks very dangerous to be to be playing on. I got some very sharp sharp ob objects on this playground equipment. That's, oof. Yeah, stay off that. Inside the kissing booth, this guy right here, he's waiting. He's waiting. Could that be a Wizard of Oz homage there? The leg sticking out of the destroyed structure? The path seems to lead this way. Past this decorative glass and through this door. Um, seems it's a lot of choices, a lot of choices. Spinning the spoons. There's a big old flamingo back there. Back over in Slab City now. Welcome to the Internet Cafe. There it is. And the California Ponderosa, the ultimate off-grid experience. There's a lot of people residing out here. Even a spot designated to lay their, their pets in their final resting place. A 
little bit of debris. For one reason or another, no one has picked these spots. There used to be, you can see where the roads, see where the roads are, but no one's camped here anymore. However, still quite a bit of, a bit of trash. Close. All those clothes there just hanging. And even more. Oh, there's like a recliner, like a lounge chair. Right in that branch. And like that, on our way out. Gotta love this American flag RV. Nice. Just across the way are these stacks of rocks. Lots of them. A couple dozen at least. Not only in this section, but stretching all the way on that area as well. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog, <laughs> Snoopy, is over.